a bittersweet homecoming, decades in the making. Wang Ti joined the People's Liberation Army in 1960 and was tasked with building roads for the Chinese army on the border with India in 1963. But a walk in the woods changed his life forever. During the New Year holiday in 1963, I asked for leave from my squad and took a stroll in the forest near our camp. But unfortunately, I soon lost my way. Wang was later arrested by Indian troops and sentenced to seven years imprisonment for espionage. After his release, police arranged for him to relocate to a remote village in southern India, where he has lived for 47 years. As his hopes of returning to China faded, Wang married a local girl in 1975. He is a foreigner, but everyone in our village says he's a good man. But he was living in a village alone, so my family decided to marry me to him. We have four children now, and our kids all love him. My dad is Chinese while my mom is an Indian, but all my fellow villagers support their marriage. Despite having a family in India, Wang never gave up attempting to return to China. After countless failed applications to the relevant Indian departments, Wang's luck took a turn for the better after the Chinese embassy to India got involved. Under the coordination of Chinese diplomats, the Indian Foreign Ministry finally gave the green light for Wang to leave for China. Wang's family say they understand why he wants to return to China and add that they are willing to go back with him.